the Agent Condor. Welcome. Is getting everything in preparation? Show will begin momentarily. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a snack. We're setting up the, the arena now. I was banning a few bots too. Oh, hello, Amanda. I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. I was banning a few bots. Fuck, I'm so sorry. I needed to scroll up more. My bad. You said hi, and then I started banning bots. As you can see. It's Friday, and you know what that means. Chaotic Multiverse Wrestling Code of Honor. The stage is set, and we are ready for action here tonight. The crowd is practically deafening. They've been waiting for this one. Well, let's give the people what they want. For some reason, my video won't work on my laptop, and I'm upset about it. I'm sorry, Amanda. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get the show underway, we just received word that the big boss man assaulted Alberto Barrett backstage. We'll give you an update on Alberto after the first match. The WCW Hardcore Champion, Man Spike, versus Kyle O'Reilly, the former Hardcore Champion. This is a non-title championship match. But if Kyle O'Reilly can defeat Manspike, we are guaranteed a championship match down the road. Let's get into our first opening match. Charlie Haas wants to revisit cla the classic match he had with Goldberg several years ago. Wanted to relive an old, relive an old chaotic multiverse wrestling memory. Will we see Charlie Haas try to take on Goldberg? Goldberg is a lot older. Charlie Haas may be able to have a chance to finally get a victory over him. But I can't stress how much that 20-minute classic wrestling match was. Charlie Haas put Goldberg to the limit, and it only showed Charlie Haas' true potential. McDonald's spicy chicken sandwich once again. Hello, Queen Scorpion. Code of Honor Chaotic Multiverse Wrestling is brought to you by McDonald's spicy chicken sandwich. Man Spike is the current WCW Hardcore Champion. He is a Protection Division Dungeon Veteran. One of the oldest in our circle. He finally won Championship Glory by defeating Lance Archer a couple weeks ago. Sorry, Josh. I guess Agent Condor just likes to be formal with you.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Spike from Paul Tuckett, Rhode Island. Of course, he is being accompanied to the ring by his sister, Spike. The WCW Hardcore Champion, Spike. Matches like these, with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is an art form. You're okay, Agent Condor. I just think it's funny. He may not be defending the championship tonight, but his pride is always on the line. He had to plagued Amanda and Josh on this night. Fans spotted Elsinore Ravenloft at the at the arena tonight and falsely tweeted that the former women's champion would be returning tonight. That is not the case. Elsinore is backstage working on development. She is not ready to return to in-ring competition just yet. She is at the arena. She is in the building tonight. But backstage role. Tag titles for nearly 700 days and even won the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Cole, this is a man who's also held top singles titles all over the independent scene and has skills to continue that here in WWE. Kyle O'Reilly has failed to win back the WCW Hardcore Championship from Ezekiel when he was champion for a record of six months. Ezekiel held that championship. Now Man Spike proudly wears, wears the championship for the council. After defeating the man who defeated Ezekiel. Kyle O'Reilly looking back to get into championship contention. I'm sorry you're so upset, Amanda. Kyle O'Reilly out here. Hopefully our show tonight will put a smile on your face. Hope you're getting ready for your fight later tonight. We will be seeing Amanda in action against Kalisto. A rematch. And Spike is a proud hardcore champion. And Spike, this isn't a football game, this is wrestling, my guy, says Darth. A lot of people have come up from football into wrestling. Roman Reigns being one of them. Kyle O'Reilly with a sunset flip into the pin attempt. Only gets a one count there. And Spike, oh my goodness, what a toss. O'Reilly with a snapdragon screw. Love how I got five fucking ads before I was eight. about to talk shit about man Spike. <laughs> For one, can't wait to see how O'Reilly adapts to the challenges thrown at him here. The ads making life difficult. Oh, O'Reilly going to the top turnbuckle. He has the champion where he wants him. Moonsaw connected in a weird angle into the cover. The former hardcore champion. The champion gets to the ropes. Great ring awareness there on his part. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Devastating kick. Snapdragon screw. Man Spike repays the favor, runs the ropes for a body splash. Now he's been put on the defensive. Spike needs to get some kind of offense in. Look at the strength. About to sub and give the sub to Amanda because fuck these ads. I literally just had an ad when I came in. I keep forgetting to check the duration. 
for the pin. Freaking oh, um, snooze and. Amanda's back, finally working for her. She missed a ton of this match. But hey, that's the beauty of the champ. Oh, a man spike with the end of days into the cover. Is this enough to put away Kyle O'Reilly? And it is. Man spike proven to be a dominant force for the council. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. We will, of course, be seeing Man Spike in the 2K23 brand. That's not all. Spike's sister will also be jumping over, working both shows. They say they have a lot of time to catch up. A lot of time to make up for. And Man Spike is on a career resurgence. On to our second match of the night. A couple of weeks ago, Beth Phoenix set out a challenge for Elsinore Ravenloft, who has not been able to return to in-ring in competition. Madam Jennifer stepped up, said, why don't you fight someone who can? And a Mrs. Ellie. I'm sure Man Spike will have different uh, ring gear for 23. I myself will also be wearing something different. I will not be bringing my plague mask to No mask. Something different. Still very much the plague dark doctor in heart. But I feel like owing up more to my night side. What sucks? The no mask part? Jeez. I didn't know my helm would be such a such high demand. I guess I will bring the plague mask to 23. Well, definitely, Josh. And you let me know any changes you would like. If only you had 2K23, you'd just be able to create your um, character, upload it to the uh, community creations and I'll download it and I think any change you make already updates the call she is Madam Control Madam Jennifer Mission Control's very own one of the originals of the protection division she, guard, she has guarded the gates for a very long time PD original I will say I'm happy with the changes with my character in 23. I'm glad, Amanda. I know for a while there you were having issues. Oh, and for an update, my jaw is feeling a lot better. But I'm scared. Uh, well, not scared, but like very careful like if I drink something too cold I don't want to aggravate it just change the plague mask to the actual night helmet I mean you'll see um, what I did when 23 debuts in May but I definitely wanted to return return to some parts of my roots actually you know what I need it I have two alt attires in 23. I need to make one adjustment for the for the main attire. I was like, I want to return to my roots, but then I forgot the ultimate one, the uh, 
the way I looked back in 2007. My own, my old, uh, hardcore jeans look I had going on back then. Alright, Agent Condor. Lock up Jennifer with a quick suplex. Lamazon. Lamazon missed with that knife edge chop. Jennifer countered with a kick. Jennifer with a German into the cover. Not enough to get a one count. Jennifer's a fighter, though. She will bring everything she can to the Glamazon, mark my words. Taking her time, picking her spots. Neck breaker for good measure. More for the black the Phoenix attire, but the white is pretty good, too. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm a darker colors kind of guy. I like Jennifer's getup. I like black. Oh my goodness, what a impact there from Jennifer. Glad I'm your jaw. My jaw sometimes hurt when I open my mouth for a long time. I don't know what causes it. I don't know either. It's like I woke up fine, but over time. Jennifer gets the win on Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix had her hands on the rope. This tends to happen a lot with Jennifer. But she was screwed over of a match one time with her hands on the rope and the referee counted the three. And for some reason, despite being screwed over by the referee being blind, Beth Phoenix still showing Jennifer respect. Gotta love this AI. On to our next match. Worldwide Wrestling Champion Terry Jackson taking on Hulk Hogan's buddy Scott Hall. Kevin Nash, of course, will be at ringside for this matchup. Rumors swirling that Terry Jackson will be fighting Hulk Hogan at the Chaotic Multiverse Wrestling Event Ascension. To be held on April 23rd. Is your daily hug, Amanda? That referee is fired. We are going to have to uh, find a new ref. As much as I'm happy that Jennifer won, that was a serious screw job for Beth Phoenix. I, one of the many things, reasons why I like 2K23 is the, I mean, the amount of different referees you can have. My goodness, like, I'm so, like, impressed by the difference. And I feel like the AI is a lot better in 23 than 22. The previous WWE symbol? Damn. Can't wait to check that out. It wasn't... Wait. Was that what you had for your first test out match? At least there's female refs in 23. The games before it, they were sexist. For real. For the longest time, you only had like Mike... Uh, not Mike Chioda. Um, Earl Hebner in the oldest WWE games. Was Charles Robinson ever a referee in a game? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that's right, Amanda. It was hard for me to really notice because I was just focused on the arena and the match itself. Terry Jackson, of course, being one of the pupils of Triple H, paying respects to the game. As he is a two-belt champion, ECW World Television Champion, and the Worldwide Wrestling Champion. Terry Jackson will be facing Hulk Hogan at Ascension. I might even try to make my face on my character in 23 with the picture. Damn, Josh, I've never even tried that yet. I should. 
Thanks for the posture check. How do you even do that? I'll give up immediately too. That's why I've never really bothered with it. Terry Jackson getting ready for his match against one half of the Outsiders. You know how much the NWO has ruled wrestling. And his opponent, accompanied by Kevin Nash. Oh, Paige did that for you? From Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. Scott Hall's looking better than ever here tonight. I don't ever remember seeing him look this good, Michael. I'm just unsure about using that whole face texture thing. Doesn't matter where or when he's competing, this guy just wants to fight. And he's about to get one. I believe this is the first time Terry Jackson will compete against Scott Hall. Looking into the eyes of this competitor tonight. You know he Even in our rich history, these two never collided. Opportunity to make big headway on the roster. And he's going to have to deal with the bad guy. Terry Jackson is going to have to keep his eyes open on Kevin Ash, but not too distracted cuz Scott Hall will take advantage as he did just now when Terry decided to taunt. The outsiders. The soup bone drop into the cover. Terry kicks out right after one. I liked how Sting mentioned them last night on AEW. That was in the first like 30 minutes, right? Because I came in late. Damn it. I missed Sting. The icon. Oh man. High impact maneuver on Terry on the outside. Also about Ark, my Xbox wanted to be stupid and stop the installation. Like what? That's what my Xbox was doing to Fortnite uh, for the longest time. Fortnite would be like 98% downloaded. And it would be like installation stopped. Kevin Nash putting his hands on Terry needs to be careful. With the point of the elbow. Hate to say the outsiders are in firm control of Terry Jackson right now. The worldwide wrestling champion is in trouble. This is not for the championship. If Scott Hall can pin Scott Hall or make a, if Scott Hall can pin Terry or make him submit, he will be in contention for that championship. I'll have to watch it on demand. We have the Hulu uh, live TV, so should be able to. Also, when is AEW going to have a service of their library like WWE has? Into the cover, Terry goes. It's a two count. Running power slam from the champion. Terry Jackson going to the top turnbuckle. Body splash connected into the cover. Referee taking a while to notice. Only a one count for Terry. Terry back on the offense here. Gut wrench power bomb. And Hall's resilience being pushed to the test there. Terry Jackson utilizing his power game. The referees are so slow. Terry Jackson tried for the power bomb. Scott Hall had that countered. Scott had the champion scouted. Now Scott Hall. Oh, Terry Jackson fighting back. Scott Hall. Reversal after reversal here. Scott with a Northern Lights suplex. 
stunned the champion. Now Scott Hall is going for the razor's edge. Connected, is this enough to defeat the champion, Terry Jackson? And it is. Eric Jackson failed here tonight at Code of Honor. I think the Matrix glitch makes the ref go blind. Possibly. Yeah, uh, when, when someone grabs the ropes, it's like referee goes... Lights out. The Outsiders have entered the Chaotic Multiverse and they've pulled off a win on one of our very best. to our next match, a huge tag team match. The Wrestler and Rey Mysterio teaming up. I don't know why Angela is going out with them. It's interesting. The dangerous team of the Unknown and CM Punk. Interesting why the former Matriarch Champion would be accompanying Rey Mysterio and the Wrestler. I mean, they are council members in a sense. They're more along the lines of allies. CM Punk back in 22 or something? It's a, it's a created wrestler. Did you hear that CM Punk may be returning to AEW? Thanks for the hydrate, Amanda. I like to think all of that was just the work and CM Punk was just taking time off. Yeah, it's a custom. Molly Holly has called Deona Baker as one of her favorite wrestlers of this era. You can bet Great Chief will be watching this mass this match. He still has issues with the unknown. The unknown is still targeting Great Chief on social media. Harley Cameron. I don't I don't know who that is, but I can Google. A singer, pro wrestler. Australian. And oh, she's a singer and professional wrestler. Interesting. Oh, she's on AEW. She looks like Sable. Just like a younger version of Sable. Get into this match. <laughs> Look who it is. She's the one with the glasses with Hobbs. Oh, I never even noticed. She shot his best friend and did two music. Oh, that's sick. That's cool. I like Ray, but I don't why he disappeared after. Um, he left the company. For a, for a long time there. And then shit happened out there. There was an accident while Ray was working outside of WWE. Snooze ads for y'all. He's ready and raring to go. One guy died in the ring when he was wrestling him. Yeah, um, I forgot the name. Piro. Piro. Uh, 
I'm probably going to butcher the name, but Piero Aguillo Jr. While performing in a wrestling match on March 20th, 2015, died almost instantly from cardiac arrest after fracturing three vertebrae. I, I've never even watched that clip. Is that still available? Not that I want to watch it, but... Because I know anytime there's like a major accident involving a wrestler and they die, there's like no... It's scrapped from the archives of the internet. Like Owen Hart. You only see like images and stuff. That was a different time before social media. Looks like Angela is not there with them. It's interesting why she was slated to come out. There is the light heavyweight champion, the unknown. Defeat a great chief for that championship. I wonder when he's ever going to defend it. Of course, to be fair, he's been taking down challengers left and right. The Hurricane and X-Pac, Rey Mysterio himself. It was on YouTube when I watched it. I don't know if it's still up now. I don't want to see it. I, I just don't want to. And that messed up Ray. Like, Ray is a religious man, and... Also, Eddie died in the ring as well, I think. I don't know if that's true or not. Eddie died in the hotel. Yeah, Eddie uh, passed away in the hotel room. Javo Guerrero checked on him. He wasn't moving. I think he was hunched over or something. I don't remember exactly the details, but yeah, Eddie passed away in his hotel room. Alright, hydrate, thank you. Just look at the swagger on display. I love it. Swagger. Really, Saxton. How many points do you have, Agent Condor? I'm just so curious. You have to have like 300,000 or something. Something along those lines, something crazy. Because even I have like, what is it, like 170k on Emmy's channel? <clears throat> Here's your hugs, y'all. The wrestler going to work here against the unknown. The unknown. The wrestler would not take that. The wrestler trying to break through that helmet of the unknown. CM Punk talking trash. Oh, Angela is there with them. What the hell? Very curious. Well, she is a member of the inner circle. And whenever an ally has to contend and guard the gates of the CMV, you know, it's interesting business for council members to uh, be present and survey the battlefield. Maybe lend tactical advice. Rey Mysterio could use some help right now, certainly. Damn, Josh, you, you already have 8K? 8,000? You have a sore throat? I do have a sore throat. Ray failed. Now Sam Punk, the legal man, tried. Sam Punk countered, scouted Ray Mysterio. Mysterio. Neckbreaker. 
by the former world champion. Now he's going to tag in the wrestler. CM Punk getting the advantage. Surprised CM Punk doesn't want to focus on the wrestler. It is those two who are feuding. The unknown would love to draw blood from the wrestler. The wrestler is a fighter, but he is struggling here, as most people tend to struggle against the unknown. I like you, but you gotta land on motherfucker, not over the motherfucker. That was a very interesting, unfortunate Matrix glitch that costed Rey Mysterio. Perhaps that's why Angela is there to survey and study the Matrix glitches that have been happening. The unknown is just chopping down the wrestler here tonight. Oh, CM Punk back to the legal man. Dissection. Plain and simple. CM Punk and the Unknown are dissecting the wrestler. CM Punk. Brainbuster, my god. CM Punk going for the cover. Two count. <laughs> Hold you to that, Josh. You only wanted the Raw fans, so that maybe there's a Becky shirt somewhere in there. Oh, I find it interesting. When you create an arena, you can choose the fans who's in the audience. Yeah, that's what uh, got me, too. I don't know why I went classic. Like, why did I go 80s? I should probably change it. And I hope you do get a chance to stop the unknown someday, Josh. Truly. Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio, the veteran. Going to town here on the unknown. Un unknown. Tagging in the wrestler. It's the wrestler's turn to dissect the unknown. Tries for the cover. Only a one count. Left German. Oh, this is risky. Unknown already up to his feet. Very interesting Matrix glitch there. The the Matrix has heavy influence tonight here in the chaotic multiverse. Unknown hit that Superman punch. The wrestler managed to get to the ropes. The referee saw that this time. Imagine making the same mistake twice. Off the ropes. The is pumping and the WWE Universe is on his side. Uh, refresh my memory, Josh, just to make sure. There's a snapmare. Ray was going for the snapmare and probably a basement drop kick. Inverted DDT instead. CM Punk focused on the wrestler. 
And Punk definitely focused on the wrestler, not even the legal man. Rey Mysterio seeing this. Oh my goodness. Oh. Sam Punk's head went clock against the apron. And a DDT from Rey Mysterio. Angela getting in the fighting spirit over there watching this match. She needs to be careful not accidentally hit CM Punk. Connects with the kick. Charleroso stopping Mysterio. Referee at six. He's not going to let anything stop him. Ray Mysterio looking to dial it up. 619 connected. Ray Mysterio. Going up top. Interesting choices here from the former champion. Frog splash from Ray into the cover. Is this enough? The unknown gets to save, and this match continues. I remember Sam Punk and Ray Mysterio's feud. Right. Good times. Springboard moonsault from Ray Mysterio. Continued attacks from Ray Mysterio. And Mysterio is on a roll. Here he comes off the tag. Wrestler. German suplex. A second German looking for a trifecta. Goes for the cover, the wrestler. CM Punk in trouble. Oh my god, that was a near fall. Oh, Firefly Cultus. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to double check that. I'll do that after the show tonight. The wrestler nearly had this match won. CM Punk being the resilient fighter that he is. That should have been it. Oh, CM Punk. Sizing up the wrestler. Thinking GTS. The wrestler scout knew that was coming. Inverted DDT into the cover. Another near fall. One or two big moves might be enough to end this match, you would think. Ray Mysterio, a damn superhero in that ring. Into the cover, the unknown. Gonna break up the pin. Who do you want to see in the CMV, Amanda? <gasps> Ray Mysterio, pan homage to Eddie Guerrero with the Thrust Amigos. It's also a nice little nod to the clique that I used to run with. Thank you, Ray. I loved your WrestleMania entrance, too. See, I'm punk intervening. I thought that was a GTS, but no. Crime time, if possible. If they have good calls on CC. I'll see what I can do. Right now, I have the Dudley boys on 23. I could have the Dudleys just do a few things and then... Meanwhile, I'll be looking for crime time calls. I kind of want the Highlanders, too, at some point. I do have JTG on 22. Oh, Pumping the adrenaline they so desperately need right now. Oh, the unknown. Stiff right hand to Rey Mysterio into the cover. The light heavyweight champion. And Youngblood wants to face them. Got you. Oh, unknown tried for the spear. Rey had to brought that knee up. 
Sunset flip possibly into the power bomb. Rey Mysterio doing a service for the council tonight. Bringing the fight to the unknown. The unknown not taking no from a veteran who would love to defeat the legend Rey Mysterio. And a spear from the unknown. Rey Mysterio's in trouble here. Get in there, wrestler. Rey Mysterio kicks out. Tag team wrestling at its finest here at Code of Honor. Rey Mysterio getting the upper hand of that exchange. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Mysterio, what's he gonna do? Rey Mysterio wants to fly. Ooh. See him punk. Ooh. Rey Mysterio still gets the Hurricane Rana into the cover. Is this all she wrote? CM Punk kicks out again. So many near falls in this contest. I feel like 23, once again, superior to this. I've had tag team matches in 23 that just go on and on because they always break up the pin attempts. The unknown doing exactly what we said should happen. He heard us. Come on, Ray. Unknown is uh, out. He is down and out. Ray hit the frog splash. This is it. This has to be. And it is. But I wanted the wrestler to break up a pin, not the... Uh, exactly, Amanda. I guess the wrestler had faith in Rey Mysterio. Congrats, Rey and the wrestler. These two put on an instant classic tonight at Code of Honor. And on to our next match. The United Kingdom Women's Championship is on the line. Brianna defends her championship for the first time in over two months against the debuting, debuting Hikaru Shida. It looks like her. It is her. Haha, <laughs> wink. GG Ray and the wrestler says Darth Master Josh. Thanks for the hydrate, Amanda. We are only halfway through Code of Honor. Wait, oh, yeah, never mind. It does say Women's Championship. I got confused there because I didn't actually see the championship up there. I was like, what the fuck? Our next Chaotic Multiverse Wrestling show on April 20th will be called Bedlam. I'm glad you like this show name. Hikaru honestly looks like Freddy's daughter. Oh, oh shit. I wanted to pay respects to Ring of Honor. 
I've been having a lot of matches that kind of pay respects to a company. So, an example. The other other day I ran a Fatal 4-Way Hell in a Cell match with ECW alumni. Sandman, Tommy Dreamer, Taz, and Sabu. Sabu won that contest by pinning Taz. And I had a TNA match involving Christopher Daniels, AJ Styles, and Samoa Joe. AJ Styles picked up the win by defeating Christopher Daniels. The challenger looks to be in the best shape ever, ready to compete. Hikaru Shida looks ready to pick up a new championship. Brianna, who hasn't defended that belt in a long time since it's been quote unquote deactivated, she still brings that championship with her everywhere she goes. The championship is not actually retired. Hikaru would love to carry that honor and prestige of that championship. But she has to get past Brianna the Warrior to do so. Brianna said, this championship may not be sanctioned by the Chaotic Multiverse anymore, but I am still its champion, and I will defend it with pride and honor and respect. The champ comes into his title defense incredibly Fun fact, Serana turned my character into a vampire, not her stupid dad. It's a nice piece of lore, Josh. I appreciate that. And it is forever remembered in a CMV chapter. I tell you, Josh doing more work for the CMV in such a short time than a few others have over the last two years. And yes, Amanda, I believe you know who I'm talking about. Like I said, what you gotta really do is pay attention and be involved a few times. I mean, that that's where I, I understand Skeg's point of view. If you're going to be a part of something, be a part of it. Participate. Watch. You know? Because on any other show, you may come up with a piece of lore that will help elevate the Sam V. Let's build this shit together. They lazy motherfuckers, says Josh. And I agree. Queen Scorpion would agree with you, too. We all know who I'm referring to. And Josh, I could tell you in DM later. I won't I won't reveal the name out loud on stream. But if you're curious, I can DM you that later. And another thing it's like this is like a little bit of a chaos TED talk here, okay? I understand we all need breaks, we all get busy, we all have shit, we all have stress. But this is this is why I fold myself into the CMV. The CMV takes over for me. It pulls me away from all the stress in my life. So I don't have to focus on that negative nonsense. I'm focused on the CMV. I'm focused on what's next for the wrestling division, what's next on streams, whatever whatever kind of lore I want to drop on a certain stream. And I drop them very subtly. You'd have to pay attention to the things I say. Brianna going to work, eating the chest of Hikaru Shida, looking to turn back the challenger here tonight. Keep that UK championship under her reign. But like I was saying, I fold myself into the CMV to distract me from all the um, personal problems, you know? And Amanda, you're, you're great. You've been here every step of the way. I dropped some juicy lore in between chapters. And it's just a matter of catching them. Because I don't make it very obvious. I, I drop a reference. And if you, if you heard it, you got it. If not, then you'll have to watch back the footage. That's why I have everything archived on the channel. You are absolutely awesome. Much appreciated all your hard work. Thank you, Queen Scorpion. And I appreciate you, Josh, agreeing with her. Um, but yeah, well, like I was saying, we all get busy. Like, I understand that. But the fact that this person hasn't done a single thing or stepped up in the last, like, year? Like, what's going on? 
Granted, another person I know has an actual excuse because they're, well, I don't want to say it because that would be revealing it very, very much. But the one person has a good excuse. The other person, Brianna nearly retained her UK Women's Championship right there after that pump handle suplex. But there is nothing like stopping you from like, hey, what are you doing tonight? I would love to get involved. And see, the thing is, you don't even have to be playing the game that we're playing that night to participate. We can work it in where all you have to do is join the party chat with me and Cloud. And you talk and add whatever you want to talk and add if you have any updates. Because, see, part of the CMV was I wanted to start building, like, kingdoms, part of the empire. You know, the Prantis Empire is built upon several kingdoms. Elsinore and I maintain the Sardonia kingdom. Great Chief and Agent Condor maintain the Utopia kingdom. We all have kingdoms within the empire. You can represent your house, your kingdom, simply just by being in the party chat. You don't even have to participate. You don't like art? That's fine. You don't have to play it. But at least get involved in some way. And the fact that you haven't done anything in months clearly means that you've been bullshitting me this whole time. Brianna retains her championship after that Gord Buster GTS. Hikaru Shida's Challenge has been turned back tonight. Brianna still proving that she is the United Kingdom Women's Champion. The NXT UK Women's Champion. The Warrior Well, it's not just a good idea, Agent Condor. It's just if, if you want to be a part of something. I understand we all need breaks and stuff, but the fact that this person hasn't done shit in a year, you know, at least, like, give us updates here and there. They don't even use the Chaotic Multiverse channels anymore. They would at least post, like, things in certain channels. Oh my god, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? The House of Black? Alongside Kalisto? What the hell is happening here? Is Kalisto actually involved with the House of Black? What the actual fuck, says Amanda. This is not good, says Agent Condor. I believe you're right, Queen Scorpion. I think I've been generous when I said a year. I think it's been a lot longer. What is this, a gangbang? <laughs> Yeah, I'm completely alone tonight. <laughs> Kalisto apparently is a part of the House of Black. Oh my god, Amanda. Yes, this is why we are an 18 plus channel. Should I, like, start putting After Dark or the 18 plus on my titles again. Amanda has a bad feeling tonight. Hopefully you this this is just stressful. There's a lot to unpackage here, a lot to focus on. Not only focused on Kalisto, but what is the House of Black doing here? I think this is overkill. One of them alone would be a statement. But all three members of the House of Black? Are they telling us that there is a fourth member of the House of Black? They better not distract me tonight, says Amanda. Ooh, I keep doing that. I mean to, like, keep the screen from going idle, not, like, pick someone to play as. 
Here, I'll just do this. I'll just lock it in. Good luck, Amanda, in your match tonight. Hopefully, the House of Black does not cause major distractions for you. Could at least have replaced Julia Hart. Or joined her, too. That's right. Where is Julia Hart? We have not seen her in the Chaotic Multiverse yet. But as far as we know, we know she's involved with the House of Black. Amanda prepares for war all by herself tonight at Code of Honor. Uh, if my character wasn't 22, I would have went out with Amanda as a manager. That's very nice of you, Josh. Too bad Gigi Watch wasn't here in Arizona. I'm sure Cloud would have walked out with you, too. And I am preparing for my match with Jordan later tonight. I'm sure next time Gigi will join you. I mean, Alberto Barrett and Great Chief also has issues to deal with regarding the House of Black. After Kalisto, I wanted to team with him anyways, but I may need his help sooner than that. Quite possibly. I just like how Murphy just walks right through Kalisto in our screen there. Welcome to our Matrix glitch, everybody. I just... We just got a whole lot of... Bu whoa, whoa, whoa. Buddy Murphy just... Trying to take the spotlight from Kaliso, and Kaliso just gave no fucks. Like, excuse me, y'all... Coming out with me to my match. At least get out of my fucking way. Fucker. <laughs> God, this game is so fucking funny. I can't. I gotta break character for a second, but 2K is just so fucking lame. I can't. I can't with this game. And this isn't even 2K20, y'all. Like, come on, man. Let's do better. Lisa, like, buddy. Buddy boy. The fuck out of my spotlight. And coming into this matchup, there has been a fire burrowing inside. Kalisto over here trying to take care of business. And the House of Black just like getting involved. Amanda also looking to get a win here tonight against Kalisto. Now faced with the arrival of the House of Black. Springboard missile drop kick connected. Amanda running the ropes for a leg drop. Those. Oh, miss Kalisto. 2K20 is a lot worse. I was distracted by the entrance from the start because I was laughing. Which has given Kalisto the advantage. Amanda was laughing too much. Oh my goodness, what? I don't even know what that was. Even though I didn't have the bugs when I played it on PS4. Well, for me now, 2K20 is like super laggy. Like, it's like very slow with matches and stuff. I still have it because Kurt Angle and Christian and uh, Batista. But now 23 is out, and I have Batista and Eddie. Amanda getting a near fall right there. This could be the night, despite the odds stacked against her. Springboard leg drop connected. Exploder from Amanda. She is kicking Kaliso's ass. Man, they got that disarm her, locking in the disarm her. And she made Kaliso tap out right here and now at Code of Honor. Despite the odds against her, Amanda is fighting. Not letting the House of Black 
Oh no, Kalisto. The French kiss DDT. And the cocky cover. Kick out, Amanda. Kick out. Oh my God, just barely. Amanda gets her shoulders up right in time. Amanda better win or I will say she won, not Kalisto. So it's Josh. Oh, Kalisto going low on Amanda. Bond is not going to appreciate that. Springboard moonsault from the bottom rope. Kalisto connected into the cover. Only a one count. Amanda has a lot of fight left in her. Amanda countered the twist of fate. What a twist of fate in its own right. Kalisto did not expect that. And a sweep in the legs from underneath Kalisto. Amanda distracted. Hit, gets hit with a twist of fate anyway. Kalisto goes for the cover. Not like this. Kick out. Damn it. Still, Kalisto picks up the victory again against Amanda. Damn it. If it wasn't for that taunt, maybe I would have had the shot. I have a lot of respect for the performance she just gave in this match. She Damn it. This win. No Amanda won that, says Josh. Hell no. Boo. Damn it. Yeah, however, full disclosure, that taunt really did kind of seal the deal. Unfortunately. Freaking AI. The Matrix made you taunt. You were taunting the Matrix, Amanda. And also Kalisto. You misjudged how uh, Kalisto's um, recovering process is a lot quicker than you thought, than you anticipated. Okay, next week, GG Walks will be in my corner. You got it. And now we are at Robert the Paladin with his wife, the former Matriarch Champion, Angela. Versus Tyler Dean in a rematch. Can Tyler Dean finally defeat Robert? We'll find out tonight. Maybe Cloud will give you some of that fluffy ass uh, goofball energy um, power. Who knows? I think Josh wants to team up with Amanda too in 23. I hear Agent Condor having troubles with her phone out there. My phone is giving Agent Condor the fight of her life. <laughs> Thanks for the pause check. Let's get into this match. This is a match before the co-main event. This is gonna be good. Every member of Young Blood in singles action tonight. Now we get to see these two lovebirds give us all diabetes. I was giving an air message when I went onto your Twitch for some reason. That's weird. Glad you're able to watch the show now, though. Also, sorry for the ads, everybody. I just saw.
If it would at least be the picture in picture ads, you know, before we go to commercial break. You want this walk in with Serana? Alright, Josh, bet. We'll make it happen. This is why they have a child. Robert, the smooth talker. Oh, Queen Scorpion. <laughs> this is an After Dark stream, by the way. You know what? It's easier just to say all my streams are After Dark in the sense. Like, 18 plus. <laughs> Agent Condor says about to make a second. <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't know. I don't know what goes on in that house. Robert and Angela are, of course, the rulers of the Ostrov Kingdom within the Prantis Empire. They've already started building their house together. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you and Bon have that entrance. There are only, like, what, two options for couples in this game? It's either the one Robert and Angela or the one that Jordan and Brianna had. I think there are only two options. I'm not sure. Yeah, basically. We need more couples entrances. Giggity. Angela told Queen Scorpion that they are really con Oh damn, really? They haven't told me anything yet. What the fuck? I'm I'm about to slide into Robert's DMs. Like I thought we were bros. Oh, Mike and Maria. Yeah. Only a few days, Amanda. We have to deal with the ads until I gift you and buy myself a sub. Oh, Jordan and Brianna's were Mike and Mar Maria's? Noise. I didn't know. I'll be honest. It's cool that they still keep the entrances of wrestlers that are no longer signed to WWE in the game. Robert, right out of the gates here. Stunning Jordan, uh, Tyler. Someone ready to claim a spot at the top of our doors. Brutal stop to the body. And Robert is hell bent on his path to win that champ, that world championship. He did make it to the finals of that world championship tournament. Adam once again being our world champion here in the chaotic multiverse. Robert truly is relentless. Said he no longer wants to team up with me anymore. He doesn't want the tag team titles. He wants the world championship. And yes, I do feel offended. But it's okay. I'm teaming up with Ezekiel. Tyler is struggling here against the Paladin. He's definitely Tyler's Kaliso and Bailey for sure. Robert proving to be a very difficult task. He's lost some of his win now. This is just business. Tyler rolling turning the odds in his favor there. This is Tyler's first chance at offense in this matchup. He's going to work on the legs. Robert. Robert caught. Dragon screw. Oh man, you can see he is feeling it now. Tyler needs to be careful for Robert's spear, but he knows that all too well. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Snake eyes off the turnbuckle into the cover. Tyler kicks out after two and a half. Springboard moonsault missed. Robert miscalculated. Tyler got out of the way. Goes for the cover. He forces a break before the count of two. Only a one. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. With a running knee strike. Oh, what a kick. Right to the gut. Oh, the chin. An agile escape. 
Oh my god, Robert drove the knee. Running Hurricane Rana to follow up into the cover. Near fall right there. Tyler is slowing down. He's feeling the effects of this fight. And a spear from Robert could mean the end of this matchup. If Tyler does not kick out, what does Tyler have to do to defeat Robert? Robert is freaking hungry as hell. You can tell he is focused on that world championship. Yeah, there's no space for that, Queen Scorpion. Tyler did not put up much of a fight in this exchange. And that's what rematches are for. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at our co-main event, which means radio silence from yours truly. I'll see you all out there. Yeah, our commentators are rude as fuck. I'm sorry. They have no respect. Brianna having a successful championship victory tonight, accompanying her man to this match. I, of course, will be flanked by my co-CMB tag team champion, Ezekiel. Here's your daily hug, Amanda. Where's my lady? Uh, in the back doing producer shit. She's at the arena, but she's doing things. Fans uh, falsely uh, tweeted that they spotted Ellie at the arena thinking she was going to be making a comeback to the ring. But that's why you shouldn't assume... <coughs> Ellie's been doing a lot of backstage work for the wrestling division and the uh, the greater empire. She is ambassador, of course. She's excited to make the return to the ring, but I'm not entirely sure when. There's no exact date. Yeah, I look forward to the return of Elsinore and Chemkin and Agent Condor, Queen Scorpion, the Baron, you know. So many of the council members had to step away late last year. Thanks for the hydrate. I actually took a drink how long the time you redeemed that. And here they come. We are missing our CMV women. And we'll be gaining a few more, too. There is a female unknown... That will be on the 23 brand. And I'm just going to switch to Aaron, y'all. So I'm excited to make my wrestling return. I will be working on the 23 brand. Of course, our other brother, Evan, will be returning to the ring as well. Evan and I have been working... At the old PD dungeon, getting off ring rust. Of 
I don't know why the fans are booing my brother and cousin. Seems a little weird. Damage Control was going to fight Diane, Cian, and Diona, but things changed. Um, Diane and Diona has instead challenged the women's tag team champions Tiger and Princess for next week. Eric, Aaron, and Evan. Exactly. My brothers love to call me AARP because that's what my initials are. Aaron Allen Prather. So that was always the shorter abbreviation for my name whenever I was booked. AARP. Or ARP. I always like to take away that second A because my brothers are jerks. I can't wait to see these two fight again. They put on a hell of a match last week. Yeah, it's wearing different boots, I've noticed. He's gone black. Of Chaos's attire is an homage to his father, Kane. Yes, was brought up in this wrestling business because of The Undertaker and Triple H and Kane. They're the three responsible for bringing him into this company. Into this industry. Chaos Shop. Chaos used his uh, paycheck to buy those new boots. The silver wasn't doing it for him. Jordan capitalized on that. Miscalculation from chaos. Can Jordan get the win here and finally defeat Chaos Knight. If so, it would be the first time in his career. Jordan goes up and down with the double stomp into the cover. Only a one count. Jordan going for. The clover leaf, which is an insult. Chaos is Irish. I love the insult to my brother. Chaos, however, fighting out of it. Oh, Chaos connected with the roundhouse kick. Goes for the cover. Jordan gets to the ropes. Great ring awareness there. By the young blood member. Springboard forearm connected from Chaos Knight. Chaos trying to turn Jordan's chest beat red. Win or lose, Jordan is just happy to fight. It's what we're all here for. Build those moments and have them great matches. Chaos Knight going for the Dirty Deeds DDT. Goes into the cover. Jordan kicks out. I something tells me we are about to see another classic between these two. Jordan goes for the cover after the kick. Chaos's chin. And we all know Chaos had jaw pain last night. Jordan trying to utilize that to his advantage, going for the kill switch. Engage connected. Jordan telling Chaos to get up. He is not done. Jordan goes up high. Double foot stomp into the cover. Is this enough to defeat Chaos? Oh my god! Jordan was so close to defeating my brother there. And Chaos still kicks out. After putting on a wrestling clinic. Jordan. Power bomb! 
Is this the night Jordan has scout scouted that moonsault? Yeah, it's going to work slowly, methodically on Jordan. Picks him up, drags him off the top rope. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh my God, this is hard to watch. Chaos loves using his feet. Picking spots like a doctor in the ring. A plague doctor, if you will. Jordan has a chance to getting another best shot. He's fighting. Oh, never mind. Chaos with an insecurity, knocking Jordan off the ring apron. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Ooh, harsh kick. Chaos picking apart Jordan right now. His offense is on point right now. Stringing together some big moves. Into the steel steps. Chaos sends Jordan. Jordan, referee at six. Jordan trying for a suplex. Chaos counters with a German suplex. My goodness. Chaos. Exchanging words to Jordan. I can't actually hear him. Referee at nine. Referee is at nine. Jordan needs to get in. And he doesn't. Chaos wins by count out. Here is your winner, the superstar, Eric. The challenger unable to make it back in in time. The ref really uh, I no did put the arena on the CC. Um, this is the way the match ended. Perhaps they should have tried to break the count at the end there. Byron, shut up. Looks like we'll be having a rematch next week. The count out just won't do. The fans are not happy. Amanda is not happy. On to our main event. CMV Empire World Champion Adam Cien versus John Moxley. John Moxley has challenged Adam. Oh, what's this? Baron is here at the arena. Baron will be accompanying the world champion to this match. Can they have a Falls Count Anywhere match next week? Yes. I will make sure that gets booked. They shouldn't be contained. These two, Jordan and Chaos, can have the entire arena to themselves next week and settle this business. And I'm guessing the Baron has returned. Accompanying CMB Empire World Champion to this match. John Moxley has challenged Adam. John Moxley was the last noted WCW World Champion before the title was held up and used to form the new Worldwide Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Adam Cian has become the new WCW World Champion and it's in the in that time period. Since then, John Ma if John Moxley beats Adam, he would love to challenge for that WCW World title. And possibly the Empire World title. Kalista wants to focus on Brianna 
Angela wants a rematch with Brianna, and she does have that championship rematch clause in the contract for being the former champion. Of course, Gigi Vox will be accompanying Amanda to the ring next week. And Great Chief and Alberto Barrett has challenged the House of Black to a tag team match next week. Did I take the arena out of... Oh, I probably did. Uh, after the show, I'll, I'll make sure I put the arena back up in the CC. I may have taken it off. Uh, someone come out with Great Chief? Possibly Agent Condor. Isn't that more your decision? I mean, that's up to you when you're able to come back. I'm not the doctor. I don't know how Chaos commentates at this hot-ass desk for practically two hours. And I'm like a blaze of fire, fighting back the, the challenge of John Moxley, struggling to drag John to the middle of the ring into the cover. Not even a one count. Adam needs to do so much more in order to put away John Moxley. Back suplex. Uh oh. Effectively targeting the arm. Remember this day. This has been a night where council members have returned. Have Elsnor in the back room doing producer work. We've seen the arrival of Baron. And he's showcasing some dominant. Oh my God! What a scent on there from Adam. Oh, John Moxley had that standing shooting star press scouted. The end will not be deterred. He is the world champion for a reason. He has fighting spirit. I believe I see lettering on Adam's elbow pad there he can keep it up. hard to tell from this angle but I believe he's paying respects to two of his friends Carl Johnson and Ray the Great which the three of them at one point in CMV wrestling history were a faction Adam Cian paying respect to the past Remembering the people who brought him to this dance. Oh, look at this. John Moxley with a lariat. Oh, Moxley, dirty deeds to the world champion. Adam Sand got to the ropes. John Moxley should have took time to drag Adam to the middle of the ring. Now Adam capitalized. The running Harakarana into the cover. The world champion gets a near fall right there. Two and a half. Oh, looks like we're 
And now it's Salido Del Sol from the champion. Is this enough to put away John Moxley? And it is. Adam Sand has turned back the challenge of John Moxley. That was an awesome win for this young man. One of the biggest of his career by far. What a battle. Respect to both competitors. John Moxley showing respect to the world champion. And like John Moxley is ready and willing to put the WCW World Maybe Championship to the back mirror career. in his career. Great sportsmanship. I would have hit him in the mouth. This was one hell of a night, folks. Oh, this just in. In the back, Will Ospreay has entered the arena and challenged the nameless one to a match next week. As we know, we started uh, a new concept called the Immunity Survival Match, which is a chaotic elimination six-man match survival. Um, what it is is basically... The first one to get pinned or submit is in danger of being rotated out of the roster within the CMB. Will Ospreay, unfortunately, was the first one eliminated in that test match. He wants to make an impact in the CMB, be given an opportunity before things start to change around here. Great Carly was the winner of that inaugural Immunity Battle Royale. I hope you all enjoyed the show. Great show, says Amanda and Agent Condor. Maybe Baron and I should walk out with Amanda or Tyler or Jordan. Interesting concept, Queen Scorpion. You should talk to Amanda about that. I'm. Thank you all. I'm glad you enjoyed the show. Baron and Queen Scorpion are proud of Adam. He is a world champion. He is representing the brand to the best of his ability. Glad you all enjoyed the show. I don't know if I'll be streaming later tonight. We'll see. I'll have a talk with the fluffy one. No premiere tonight, because the next one coming out is like damn near five hours long. I don't want to deal with that tonight. Probably maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. Depends how I'm feeling. But I'm glad you all enjoyed the show. Next show will be on the 20th called Bedlam. We already have the card halfway booked. So, um, see y'all there. The next edition of the CMB Wrestling. And, uh, this is Chaos Knight signing out for now. Have a good night, everybody. Stay tuned to the Discord, because I, mean, I may stream something later. But yeah, love y'all. See you later. Yamashi.